Hello and welcome to the CNBC TV 18 Mumbai newsroom. I'm Sonal Bhutra and you're watching Your Stocks, a show where we take all your queries and get them answered from our experts. For the markets as we speak continues to be a good day. Of course, we did come off from the highs of the day, but in the last couple of minutes, we have seen some more recovery. So the Nifty as we speak is up 100 points. We have the mid cap index, which is really soaring away. That one is up around one odd percent. And the bank Nifty is the one which is slightly underperforming the benchmarks up around three tenths of a percent as we speak. But let us get in our experts now. Joining us today is Asta Jain, Research Analyst at Hame Securities and Vaishali Parekh, who is the Head of Tech Research at Prabhudas Leeladhar to answer all your stock queries. Ladies, good afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Uh, and that takes us across to our first caller today. Mohan Manjure calls us from Thani with a query. He has investments in Gulf Oil Lubricants India. Go ahead, sir. What's your query? Uh, good afternoon, madam. Recently, 15 days back, I have bought Gulf Oil at the rate of uh, 444 and uh, simultaneously at the same time uh, attack way back at the rate of 242 what should be the future do uh, should i hold it for a long time or a short time okay please advise me okay all right all of them so well, uh, to start with uh, Vatek Vabag, I think it is a very good level to buy even at this level. So I would say 220 should be the support line and if the stock can rally up to 280 to 300. And as far as the other stock is concerned, I mean, uh, that was, which is the second one you said? It was Gulf Oil Lubricants. Yes, yeah, so 430 should be the stop loss because the stock has corrected well, it is consolidating and showing signs of a new round of momentum. So I would say keep 430 as stop loss and right through for a target of 480 to 500. Okay, all right. So uh, that is the expert advice coming in on Gulf Oil Lubricants and Vietek Wabag. That takes us to the next question now. Yunus Sheikh writes to us from Kerala. He holds 75 shares of Coal India at 150 rupees a share and 10 shares of Tata LXC at 7,693 rupees per share. He wants to know whether he should stay invested for long term or sell the shares at current levels. Uh, Vaishali, uh, let me come across to you on this one. Tata Alexi, the way that stock has moved uh, above that 10,000 mark, uh, and you know, it has done well for the last two years. A lot of triggers are there. But uh, is it a good level to stay uh, uh, for a long term investor, or generally, what are the charts suggesting? It's too overbought. So, <laughs> for a long term, I would still say that he'll get a chance to again get an entry at uh, lower levels. So, for now, one can definitely book profit. Okay, so one can book profit as far as Tata Alexi is concerned is in. Uh, moving on to the next uh, uh, query now, Gagan Jamwal writes to us from Jammu. He holds 1500 shares of Vodafone idea at 9.2 rupees per share. He's making losses in his investment uh, and wants to know whether he should hold it, what are the future prospects of his holdings as we speak. Uh, Vaishali, Vodafone idea, uh, well, the most volatile stock, uh, we do get queries on it almost every other day. Uh, what is your suggestion here? I think it's been consolidating for a very long time. So let's hold this stock now that he's held on for so long. Let's hold this stock furthermore with a stop loss below eight. Because once this uh, stock moves above 950 levels, I wouldn't be surprised the stock going uh, towards 12 also. So might as well have some more patience hold with a stop loss. Oh, some patience in this case for Vodafone Idea, mentally and technically as well. That's the word coming in from experts as far as Vodafone Idea is concerned. Uh, moving on, Sagar Dingra writes to us from Lucknow. He holds 100 shares of Ashoka Buildcon, bought at 180 rupees per share, and 10 shares of SBI at 400 rupees per share. He's making losses in both his investments, and he wants to know whether he should hold, uh, sell off, or stay invested at current levels. Uh, where Shali, your take on SBI? Uh, the stock has been consolidating for a while, uh, post numbers as well. Uh, what are the charts suggesting here? It's uh, taking a breather because overall full banking index has moved so much. So I'm sure this stock is going to consolidate. But uh, for a longer term uh, horizon, I'm looking at a target of 620. So definitely a hold in SBI. And as far as Ashoka Belkon is concerned, I would say rather shift to uh, Larson and Dubro or something like that. Okay, move to Larson and Tubro. 
Uh, by the way, he bought it at 400 rupees per share. The current price is around five. As I said, we still have with us Asta Jain, the research analyst at Heem Securities in Vaishali Park, head of tech research at Prabhudas Leeladhar, who are here to answer all your stock queries. Uh, we have Urvashi Shah, who's writing to us from Bhopal. She holds uh, 100 shares of Ashok Leyland at 129 rupees a share. She's making small gains here and wants to know whether to stay invested or sell and book her profits. Uh, Vaishali, autos has really been the flavor today for sure across the board we are seeing buying uh, will this continue uh, uh, what are the charts suggesting now definitely because uh, overall individually if we talk about maruti is uh, showing still a lot of upside potential so also is the case with ashok leland this stock has been consolidating since quite a while at around 143 145 levels so uh, wait for this stock to move past 153 that would be the breakout level and uh, we would be looking for a target of 170 so uh, uh, my suggestion would be a hold in ashok leland and still there are many buying opportunities in tata motors maruti so these are my uh, favorite picks for now experts uh, but to the next query now krishna deshmukh writing to us from ratnagiri maharashtra holds 175 shares of Indian hotels, bought at 200 rupees a share, and 15 shares of Aurobindo Pharma, which was bought at 800 rupees per share, where he's making a loss, but he's making profits in Indian hotels. Uh, he wants to know future prospects of his investments. Uh, Vaishali, uh, Indian hotels reported a strong set of numbers, but you've seen a stellar run as well in this stock. Uh, do you think that this one is overbought as well? Yes, it is. So technically, uh, I would see a resistance coming at 280 to 90. And uh, well, if he's got decent profit, I would say at uh, these higher levels, one should book profit because he can again make a re-entry at lower levels. Okay. And what about Aurobindo Pharma? What would you suggest? How is the Pharma pack looking here? We're seeing some momentum and some pickup coming in the uh, pharma sector and Aurobindo Pharma is a good pick at these levels. I think this stock can go to 650 to 700 in days to come. Okay, 650 to 700. Currently trading at five. But this takes to this takes us to our next query uh, by Gaurav Shukla, who's writing to us from Patna. He holds 200 shares of Tata Steel, bought at 90 rupees a share, and he's making small profits in his investment and wants to know whether he should hold or sell or uh, what should be done at current levels. Uh, Vaishali, uh, what is your suggestion? Tata Steel has been a darling of the markets uh, at least for the last year. Uh, but now we are seeing that commodity prices are coming down. Is it showing in the charts as well? I think uh, it's still got scope of uh, further up. So hold for a target of 120. Okay, 120 for Tara Steel. It takes us to the last query for the day. Uh, and this one is coming from Patna as well. Uh, this is coming in from Mr. Shiv Kumar. He holds 10 shares of PVR at 1900 rupees per share and 500 shares of NMDC at 160 rupees per share. And he wants to know the future prospects for both these two stocks. Mm -hmm. uh, Vishali, coming across to you, what is your take on these two? PVR has done its uh, bit of rally, so it can consolidate to see. We can see further profit booking. So, uh, not much of a view in PVR for now. But, uh, well, the other one, NMDC, has still a lot of scope for an upside move going towards 140. So, that would be a good buying opportunity even now. Okay, good buying opportunity. That is NMDC. 